All right, guys, welcome back to Good Day Columbia. The Tyler's Travels team up the road a piece, up off 126, and uh, at the river, the, the edge, the mighty edge of the Saluter with our friends from Get Your Gear On. And we're talking about, uh, well, I guess you guys call it getting wet, right, Tim? Yes, Paddling, sir. getting wet. Getting wet, getting in it. And uh, so today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, what makes the river um, fun, and but a little bit on the hazard side sure. um, is the flow. Um, we've had a lot of water this, uh, this season, and so we've had a lot of releases. Yeah, and releases, that's from the dam, because of course the dam up there, C and G can, right. at their pleasure, raise and lower the water. Right. At the Lake Murray Dam for hydroelectric mm -hmm. and to keep uh, Lake Murray from overfilling. Um, right. So as the water comes downstream, there's a few things you can look at to see uh, what the water level is. Um, number one, at a lot of the public boat ramps, there's going to be a, a post with blue at the bottom mm -hmm. and yellow in the middle and red at the top, and that'll indicate what water level it is. Okay. Um, also, uh, you can just look on the banks and see if there's trees and grass in the water growing, and that indicates that the water is high. Sure. And um, also, uh, if you wanted to go to the uh, SCENG's website, they do have a spot there to let you know what the water level is. Uh, cubic feet per second mm -hmm. of water coming out of the hydroelectric dam is running right. and um, they also have a spot in that location on their website for uh, SCANA for uh public notification through cell phone. Um, oh, it's when, when they can open it up so you know. Well, yep, and they'll just tell you what color code it'll okay. be in and not exactly what number of CFS. So real quick, um, so you're talking about the red, yellow, and uh, red, yellow, and blue. blue. Right. Okay, if I'm a novice, first time out, what should I be looking for? Um, when you're looking out, uh, you know, definitely you're going to go out and have a good time. Mm -hmm. um, I would say just to keep things safe, you don't want to be out in like high, high flow water just because things can get out of hand really quickly. Sure. And uh, especially if you're in, in uh, you know, a paddle craft without, without a paddle, um, or a floating craft without a paddle. Up the creek without a paddle, as they say. Right, exactly. <laughs> right. And um, so uh, you don't want to uh, put yourself uh, in, a, in, a, in a sticky situation, per se, sure. um, by, you know, hydraulic holes out here and uh, fast moving. Also, uh, some natural hazards mm -hmm. are uh, strainers, which are trees in the water, or other things that water goes through, like cars. Um, right. Anyway, uh, and then... Um, it's going to be real careful, basically, with the water to the side. Right, right. Okay. And uh, definitely, if, if you do fall in the water, don't try standing up in water that's knee-high or more. It's because the water's moving, and, and it's going to push you down. And Mother Nature has a lot of force, and she likes to play also. <laughs> so uh, when she plays, she plays very well. All right, dude. We're going to talk about gear in a couple minutes when we come back, and also uh, show kind of a, a little bit what you can do if you get a little bit in the glue, if you're going to go out and enjoy the river as well. well get your gear on. You've got a, uh, a midnight paddle or a uh, moonlight paddle the details at watch.com but still we got a lot more coming back from the river here on good day columbia stay with us all right guys welcome back to good day columbia the talus travels team uh, right on the edge of the mighty saluda river here with get your gear on this is hartley by the way good morning thanks for having us morning. Out. it is gorgeous down here on the river at, at 7 15 in the morning or whatever absolutely beautiful gosh it's nice yeah. so listen we're talking about safety and boater safety and, and not this time boats with the motors uh we're talking about canoes and kayaks but just like a boat down on uh, lake murray with a with an engine on the back there's certain things you actually have to have according to dnr on your kayak your canoe what are those absolutely whenever you're on a watercraft whether it's paddleable or whether it's a motorboat or mm -hmm. anything else you have to have pfds and you have to have a whistle that's a life jacket yeah, a personal flotation yep. device, exactly. Uh, this one is equipped with an ability to help with river rescue. It, uh, you also have to have, obviously, your paddle. Without one of these, you got trouble when you're in the water, just saying. If you're in a kayak, then you definitely want to have a skirt, and you also want to have your helmet. But so you don't bounce off the rocks and things, right? Exactly. Another cool thing they have, uh, you can get anywhere, get, certainly Get Your Gear has them, is a waterproof box. Put your cell phone, Janet Parker, uh, and your keys in there. That way if it falls in the water, it's going to be uh, waterproof as well. Another thing you want to have is a rope. And that's not, just, I guess it is for you too, but what yeah. happens, because you do, sometimes you, you, you and your boat get separated if things get sideways real quick. Well, it's a lot more helpful to get somebody else out of the water or to get a pinned boat out of the water. Okay. And if a boat is pinned against a rock or underneath a tree or something like that, then a rope is incredibly helpful. So let's say Tim here falls out of his boat and he's, uh, you know, he finds himself and his boat separated. He's floating down the river. One of the things you want to do, of course, is be on your back and keep your legs uh, downstream. So he's floating. He's going to have his legs in the air. And that bag is designed to go ahead and just kind of toss like a football down there. Now, why is he going to keep his paddle with him? Why does he, does he want he's to keep it or not? The, yeah, absolutely. He's keeping the paddle with him so that if he has to brace off of something else, he can okay. do that. Plus, you don't really want to lose the paddle. Right, okay. Yeah. 
Now, what about the boat? I mean, I guess if you go in the water, the boat you can you can go get it later. You want to make sure that you you People come back first. on land, yeah, right? Okay, absolutely. very good. Let's real talk uh, real quick about your Moonlight Paddle. So I understand you guys are doing something cool with the uh, the evening this weekend. Absolutely. Since the rivers have been a little bit swollen, what we're doing is we're going to take the Moonlight Paddle and the Sunset Paddle out to Lake Murray and mm -hmm. run them off the Lake Murray Dam. Oh, that's going to be gorgeous. Yeah. What is that, tomorrow night? Uh, Saturday and Sunday night and possibly Friday night as well. That is awesome. We'll links for you at MidlandsConnect.com for it. Get your gear on. Man, Hartley, I appreciate it. Tim, Thank I'd you give so you a, much. I'd give you a big old TV hug, but you're soaking wet, man. Yes, Welcome sir. back to the dry yes, land. Thank you much. <laughs> Guys, you go out on the river, enjoy it. Just be safe. That's the important thing. But there's no reason you can't get out and enjoy Mother Nature. Guys, stick around. we got a lot more Good Day Columbia on the way. In fact, how about some song? Yeah, I feel musical today. It's not Juru. It's in the house.